here and I am back with Septic Flesh, the Prague Philharmonic Era Part 2. And uh, that means we're going to be starting off with this album here, Titan. Now I'm going to try to show you some of this art as I go along, just because I was just looking at it before I started filming this. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty wild stuff like this one here. But uh, here, let me check to show you guys this. The music really emulates the lyrics perfectly in the opening track, War in Heaven. And the music has this very dark atmosphere. Obviously, like, Septic Flesh has that so much, but this one has, like, some panic to it, some fiery tones, assaulting waves of energy blended with a sinister orchestral backdrop. And I love the tonal contrast of vicious metal with uh, poetic strings. It just really goes hand in hand, and Septic Flesh really knows how to unite those elements and really make them work together, seamless transitions in and out. They always do a fantastic job. And then I'll be jumping over to this track here with this crazy dude, Order of Dracul. This is probably my favorite song off the album. I absolutely love the guitars, the varying drum tempos that make this, uh, this main lead feel completely new each time the drum tempo changes. Even though it's the same, it's just this energy from the drums really amplifies it and really creates a new feeling to this main lead in Order of Dracul. I love the, um, the excitement paired with the pulse pounding hook and the frenetic drums along with the majestic but abrupt you know, horn and string of percussion section that just creates this wild chaos and just really like I said is this great transition even though it's abrupt it just really adds to the the freneticness of this song and, and the craziness that goes along with it and it's just you know quickly uh, compelling piece that comes in this this orchestral elements and then it's magically gone actually sort of just like Dracula's victim so Order of Dracul actually yes I'm gonna put this down as my first must listen to on this video so check out Order of Dracul down in the description below next I'm moving on to some exquisite contrast in prototype with and this has just this immense power and this force that conveys such an overbearing tyranny and the stunning choirs I felt brings forward brings this light to the sadness whereas the brute force really captures the essence of fear and control told within the lyrics once again septic flesh nails a message and the lyrics and the the music really goes hand in hand with that message with that story and those lyrics and really complements one another and helps elevate it and bring it forth for the listener and uh, you know not with uh, muddying it up at all and being too complex that just nails it perfectly now I want to talk to you guys about the title track, Titan. I'm going to show you this nice close-up. This is kind of wild. This is the, the cover, but it's a bit close-up. But the title track, Titan, is full of musical savagery along with wild hysteria flooding the atmosphere. I love the blitz from the guitars and drums, especially the blast beats with the higher-pitched choir. That just creates this whole kind of hysterical mood. It's absolutely just wild. And that's what I love about Septic Flesh is they can just really... Uh, add a lot of energy and a lot of chaos, make it wild, then come right back down. And you can feel a lot of melody and a lot of emotion and atmosphere with uh, the leads, you know, maybe the cleaner vocals, the choirs, the orchestral elements. So, yeah, the Septic Flesh really knocked it out of the park with uh, Titan as well. And here's another, one last cool picture I want to show you. Just really cool stuff. I really liked the, how this album closed out with the first Immortal awesome track as well. And the next album up is this guy here codex omega i got the digipack i just wanted to show you this layout for a second before i get into the the music i really like you know the, the layout is nice there i got my cds and all that stuff this bonus disc here pretty i just want to sh quickly show you that before i jumped into the music this album opens up with Dante's Inferno is wonderfully gargantuan. I love the levels of varying monstrosity. Uh, there is this majestic grandeur for the chorus, uh, the musical viciousness, controlled chaos from the guitars and drums, and the guttural ferocity ferocity from Spiros just all really makes this opening track Dante's Inferno a great one to start off uh, once again you know Septic Flesh really lures you in with an awesome track right off the bat to really get the listener going really get them excited and feel the bombastic energy that they deliver now I'm back with the booklet because I wanted to show you guys you know this art here and then there's a nice piece inside which I want to show you uh, after 
my next must listen to, which is Portrait of a Headless Man. This resonates with soul devouring atmosphere that gives life to a struggle as Spiros emerges and encourages a plight as we grow and thrive to scream out and reach for our meridian. I love the ebb and flow to this song and how it grows with a formidable strength and other moments where it eases up to let the vocals come forward and you know take front and center as Spiros does that very well. I like when it's just him and this uh, atmosphere going on, nothing really else, but it's just a focal point on him. And I also like the few moments where the orchestral elements can really rise and come forth as well. So that's my next muscle, or my second must listen of this video is Portrait of a Headless Man. Absolutely love this song. It's one of the songs that I just gravitated to so much. I love listening to that. Then we go on to Enemy of Truth, and that's where I'm going to show you this really wild piece. The, just the intensity really goes hand in hand with this piece with the song. You know, you can just feel the scream of this song with this piece, with this art. So that's pretty cool. I like how that does. But Enemy of Truth is another song that combines many layers of angst with its enormous orchestral elements throughout, teamed with a heinous atmosphere, uh, tremendously aggressive yet dynamic drum work, and the vocals and choirs I found create this sensation of a most radiant finality to this track. And, and another great message from Septic Flesh, a message and theme delivered. I absolutely love the lyrics to this one. It's some of my favorite lyrics up there with uh, Prototype and Portrait of a Headless Man. I just love uh, what Septic Flesh does uh, lyrically and the themes that they put across. And like I said before, is the music really goes hand in hand with that and they really deliver on that combination. And I think they hit it, knocked that one out of the park with Enemy of Truth. Then we go on to the last track of the album, which I love as well, Trinity. One of the rare tracks that I felt uh, eases up and allows some, some of the lead work to shine through a little bit more and, and resonate. And as well as I feel the power of the, the rhythm and the, and the snap of the snare sort of shine and pop a little bit more in this one as well. Sometimes you don't get that, you get overwhelmed, well not overwhelmed, but you know, you get a real blast of energy and intensity from Septic Flesh with so much going on, but this track, it sort of relaxes back a little bit and you can feel the rhythms, you can feel the vocals. You know, I really felt Spiros thrive and I felt every lyric. I got to feel the bass a little bit more. So that's what I like when Septic Flesh is able to change it up a little bit, tone it back, let a few other elements come to life a little bit more. And I think they really did a great job on Trinity closing out this album, which they seem to really do pretty well. I think Septic Flesh is open and close an album with a really good solid tracks. So I think that really sort of resonates with the listener being like, they get grabbed right off the bat and then you get left with an awesome track, sort of make you want to listen to the album again or maybe another one of their albums. So I think they really did a, they've done a fantastic job. I really love the Prague Philharmonic era. I hope you guys check out, you know, Septic Flesh with the, and all the links down in the description below. They do have a new album coming out, which I'm super pumped for. I can't wait to hear that. So I hope you guys check out the yeah, Septic Flesh and all my other stuff down in the description below. I got all kinds of links down there for you guys to check out. And until next time, folks, how about some heavy listening?